Mudd first here at 6 o'clock. 17 News is your local election headquarters. Some 10 years after California voters approved Prop 47, a law supporters say resulted in criminal justice reform, but opponents blame for rampant retail theft. Now voters will decide its fate this election. It comes as a new ballot measure seeking to change Prop 47, officially qualified for the November ballot. Our Capitol correspondent Aton Wallace spoke with backers of the new initiative and has their message. Applause and celebration from these organizers after their proposed ballot measure known as the Homelessness, Drug Addiction and Theft Reduction Act seeking to change Prop 47 officially qualified for the November ballot. will make a huge difference in California. It will make Californians safer. Greg Totten helped author the newly qualified initiative. He believes Prop 47 made the state less safe by changing certain nonviolent crimes from felonies to misdemeanors, including theft when the items stolen are valued at less than $950. Prop 47 supporters say it reduced the prison population and created criminal justice reform, but opponents say it emboldened criminals to take part in certain crimes like retail theft with little to no punishment. Most citizens have seen someone go into a store and steal. Most citizens are encountering locked up products and uh, struggling with that on a daily basis. Prop 47 bears a, a big share of the responsibility for those problems. We want to fix that. That's why he says his initiative to reform Prop 47 includes an option to classify repeated theft as a felony if someone is found to have taken part in theft after two prior theft convictions. The initiative would also increase penalties for thieves who are found to have caused businesses at least $50,000 in losses. Bottom line, we want change. We demand change. The measure would also increase drug treatment services and would add fentanyl to the list of hard drugs like heroin and cocaine. It would also enable stricter penalties for fentanyl dealers, something Fresno mother Pamela Smith says is crucial. Her son Jackson died of fentanyl poisoning eight years ago. Had this situation been resolved 10 years ago, my child, along with so many others, would be alive today. It all comes as the legislature has been working on its own package of public safety bills that do not touch Prop 47, but do target organized retail theft. This week, Republicans threatened to pull their support from the bills after Democratic leaders added amendments that would cancel some of the bills if voters approved the newly qualified ballot measure. A ballot measure, Democrats argue, is too punitive. Resulting in, I think, moving back to a period where we're going to have much more uh, incarceration. Our package was never intended to be stacked on top of a one-sided ballot measure. But those here do not see it that way. They believe Democrats are adding the amendments to confuse voters and take down the newly qualified initiative. Please stop playing political games and prioritize the safety of our communities. And new this week, State Senator Marie Alvarado Gill is the first Democratic lawmaker to publicly announce she's opposed to the amendments for some of these retail theft bills. She says she will support the ballot initiative. Reporting at the state capitol, Aton Wallace, 17 News.